Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Supers Live for the 14th consecutive season opener. We are glad that you can join us here today. And man, this is a first for Supers as we are broadcasting a NASCAR heat race for the first time ever. It's a little down and dirty, but we got it rolling thanks to the help of our production staff uh, and Kevin Timmons and Rob Warren. And we've got a multi-twitch going on the Supers Live page. If you go to supers.net slash site slash live, you can see Rob's in-car view or his view from his car. And then also we'll be uh, watching throughout the race uh, here at LaPorte. This is our 14th season opener. Uh, Supers started back in 2004, the Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series. Uh, started as a way to bring about awareness to the sim race community of the real super modified division, the ultimate short track race car. And I'll tell you what, in the history of supers racing at this track at Laporte, one of the very first tracks ever modded for NASCAR heat, uh, this, the, our history goes back to 2004. Nobody has more harvest of speed wins than Miles Maxson and John Davidson. Uh, total wins at Laporte. Miles Maxson has four harvest of speed victories. Second to him is Ray Sand Jr. Uh, with Harvest of Speed victories. And then nobody else has more than one. So this is a tough, tough place to win. Uh, last year, Bob Gamble was a winner. First Laporte win after 13 years of trying. After he capitalized on a mistake by early race leader Rob Warren. Joe Oxett and Keith Powell were on the podium for two of their best ever Laporte finishes. And the way we set things up tonight, it's a, it's a, a real crapshoot out there for these guys to try to get into a good finishing position because anything can happen here at this uh, tough racetrack, this tough little small uh, three-eighths mile track, uh, fictional track for NASCAR Heat. Uh, we're using the NASCAR Heat sim racing platform. You know, through the years, we've had different versions of the game. Uh, with well, the first being the Mike Jackson built PSTM mod, and that goes way back to when NASCAR Heat was first being modded uh, in the early 2000s. And uh, we've been using NASCAR Heat to start the season as a tradition uh, to remember where we started and where we came from and understand that there's bigger and badder and cooler mods out there like our R Factor mod and uh, certainly a set of Corsa and uh, NASCAR Heat uh, Evolution. And all those new games, but uh, we're doing it old school here tonight. One thing you're going to see if you're watching the broadcast is we were the original, original in-house Super Modified, built specifically for Super Modified Racing, built by Quiznell Designs, and originally released back in 2010. This unique and original mod was the first in the sim racing world to not only feature multiple Super Modified chassis in one game, but also articulating top wings just like the real east coast super modifieds so as you watch tonight you're going to be able to see the wings move up and down just like the real super modifieds helping to create more traction less drag down the chutes as the wing comes up in the corners it gives a little bit more traction so watch for that tonight as you uh, watch all the action there'll be a little bit more bumping and banging no cautions here tonight in nascar heat we run straight through last year's race took about 17 minutes to run a 75 lapper so uh, just got done with time trials, and uh, track record was not broken. Ray Sand Jr. holds that track record of 12.604. That was set back in 2012. Fast time tonight, Bob Gang. We're second quick, Rocket Rob Warren. Third quick, Steady Steve Callahan. And fourth quick, Dominic Joya. Those four cars will go to the Fast Car Dash as part of this year's Fast Car Dash Challenge. The winner of the Dash receives five points, and that's tallied up at the end of the year, and then they re Receive a, uh, an award, a trophy for the Fast Car Dash, Trophy Dash. Uh, also qualifying in tonight, Carl Becker. Carl has uh, sits in the top top five uh, of all-time super starts. And uh, our veteran racer here uh, looking for good things at Laporte, a track he normally does pretty well at. 
And then also qualifying the 41 of Keith Powell, a little bit disappointed, I'm sure, in his qualifying run of a 12.974 fast. Also, uh, Nelson Rodriguez is back. Welcome back to Nelson Rodriguez uh, out of Stoneham, Massachusetts. Nelson was your seventh quick qualifier. Unable to make time tonight, Kevin Timmons, as he works on the broadcast. We're